transferring our consciousness into fourth density reality and moving on into higher planetary systems after death or the Great Migration. This is the discussion today. What fourth density will be like when many people, many of us, will transfer our consciousness into higher density bodies and higher density planets. Uh, we are discussing fourth density, the closest reality to third density reality that we live in now. My primary discussions in this library are fourth, fifth, and sixth densities. Today is a detailed understanding of where many people, in fact, probably most people will go when they transfer their consciousness from here after death into a new body and new planetary worlds. So, right now, fourth density is very accessible to third density people who are strong meditators and who are working to develop their spiritual gifts. Because fourth density, especially high fourth density, high, the highest level of fourth density, but pretty much all fourth density are telepathic. So right now in our bodies, in our current reality, we can develop these spiritual skills which will allow us to move from here to the next reality, the next highest reality. So one of the things you have to develop is telepathy because all the beings in fourth density are telepathic. That's their primary mode of communication. You also have to start mastering your astral travel and by location so that you're not always hanging out in the lower astral frequencies. People who do not meditate and who do not develop their skills properly pretty much every night go into the lower astral worlds which are filled with all kinds of negativity, all kinds of addictions and seductions and desires and trouble and turmoil. There are higher aspects of the astral world and so you will have to meditate and develop your skills to get your consciousness raised and expanded to be able to visit higher frequencies in the astral worlds. Remember, I, I teach in almost every video that 90 plus percent of the world, when they die, they go into the astral worlds. They stay attached to earth. They never leave and go into higher cosmic realities because they are very attached to their egos, they're very attached to their addictions, their seductions, their desires, their family lineage. So most, every, most of the avatars for, the, for this last time cycle ha have been trapped here in the astral worlds. But there are fourth density ETs, very good ones, that are helping our planet right now who wish to help some of us who are ready transfer their consciousness directly into fourth density bodies, which will be very similar, if not almost close to being what you have now, because in fourth density they are able to take your astral body and they are able to blend that with a fourth density uh, consciousness body as long as your, your consciousness has been expanded significantly enough. So one of the things you need to develop is telepathy, as I said, and you need to be able to travel in your astral body to the higher frequencies because these extraterrestrials will engage you in high fourth density or high fourth, high astral uh, plane density reality. And I can talk to, about this because I've had a lot of experience years ago when these fourth density ETs were trying to recruit me to uh, leave after this lifetime and join them. They would uh, meet me in the higher astral fields or, and take my body and transport it onto their ships. And they have technology, which I've mentioned in other videos, that um, can easily solidify a body to match the frequency and reality that they are dwelling in. So there's a device that your astral body lands on. It's, it's a little pad with um, all kinds of uh, technology. And by activating this technology, your astral body densifies and solidifies and becomes the same vibration as the beings on the ship. 
So if you are to go into fourth density and make the transition out of the astral world into this higher level of reality, um, you will be solicited by ETs. They will take you on their ship. They will show you what they do. They will show you your position, how you can contribute. Um, when I had been being solicited by them, they showed me the future of the planet. And we're going to have uh, in the future much more climate change, much more severity in climate. I saw one, one instance where there were these super supercell hurricanes, two of them in the Atlantic, that completely engulfed the northern Atlantic. And they were going to destroy millions. And there would be a rescue operation by these particular ETs in this future event to try and save some of the humans because they are, it would just be a, a total, it's going to be bad. There's also events I've seen in the future that they have showed me where the Gulf area, you know, the Texas and Louisiana and um, Georgia, Mississippi coastline up through the Mississippi River is going to eventually be part of that's all going to be underwater because of the massive heating of the oceans and these massive hur uh, hurricanes that are going on. Meanwhile, California is going to continue to burn. So I'm just mentioning this because a number of these ETs have been soliciting people to help them with the future of humanity. It's a very honorable thing. So if you feel inclined that you want to help with the future of humanity, there are ETs who are looking to transfer your consciousness into their reality and into a body that's in, you're integrated into a body there, but you still have some of your human ego identity, but they're going to be telepathic and um, they're going to have these skills of high intuition, telepathy, they have precognition, um, they have time travel. They, uh, so we have to, at this point, if you are going to that frequency, um, you will need to fine tune your astral traveling so that you are not hanging out in the lower frequencies because they don't go there. These good ETs, they only hang out at the very higher levels of the astral worlds where there are some very nice etheric cities. So those are skills we need to develop now. I have a Patreon group. You're, willing, you're welcome to come join right now. This is the first of the month, and we always start with a new theme, so it's a great time to join. We're working on perfecting and developing our spiritual skills. We're working on meditating with the sacred fire and cleansing and purifying our bodies and opening up and expanding our consciousness and preparing ourselves for whatever frequency or density that we will be compatible with. And remember, we transfer our consciousness. Consciousness is not attached to the physical body. Consciousness is attached to our divine blueprint, which is multidimensional. And consciousness is multidimensional. And after we leave this reality, we are designed as avatars of our soul uh, we get a piece of consciousness that is ours to be responsible for. We are responsible for how we managed our consciousness and how we are going to manage our consciousness in the future. And so the design of the blueprint is to grow up in frequency, up in density and higher cosmic consciousness, not to keep trapped in the astral worlds. So our our work here in this library and in my Patreon group is to prepare a great migration of souls that will be leaving and moving into higher worlds of life. If you would like to join, um, just go and click on my patreon.com uh, slash Jashara link and also leave any comments you want and please uh, visit my library. It is full of information about these things I've talked about today. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.